The show kicks off formally at about 8, and the guests now enjoy a delicious looking dinner. And, uh, but some of them, some very special guests that are here tonight, have come to say hi to us. Our first guest needs very little introduction. Good evening, Dave Dobbin. Uh, good evening, Yadada and Alec. Good to see you. Well, you, you were the perfect person to be our guide to tonight with your three silver scrolls your your, <laughs> and your Hall of Nominee, um, your Hall of Fame inductee in 2013. And I was trying to count up how many times you might have been nominated over the years, but do uh, you any idea? I haven't been counting really. <laughs> but you've been to a fair few of these nights, haven't you? I have indeed, um, and they're always marvellous. They've just improved over the years. Uh, when when the when the scroll was given out uh, early on, say in the 70s, I think I got I got one in the in the 70s or late 70s or early 80s, and in those days the, the show would be um, uh, basically uh, a half hour in the foyer of a hotel uh, with a few uh, asparagus spears and some sausage rolls. Delicious. Uh, with an open bar. The bar was open for about two minutes, I think. And then I'd hand a scroll over and you'd run out of the building and, and go to a pub. And so, uh, again, <laughs> things have come a long way since they then. They have indeed. Now they turn it into a razzle dazzle showbiz sport. Um, I, I find it really encouraging uh, because songwriters get uplifted by it, you know, young songwriters coming through. And my favourite part of the evening is when. Um, the five finalists get versions, you know, the, the, the MD for the night, and tonight it's SJD. Uh, and that's musical director. A musical director. Um, and you've had some of your music covered, I believe she I had, have indeed. Yes, she yes. has did a cover of... Yeah, of, uh, Be Bef Mine Tonight. tonight. Yeah. I did, yeah. Had you ever imagined your song being interpreted in that way? No, not really. Uh, you know, it's always a surprise, but I, I like the process, you know, and it's, uh, it's pretty entertaining. Um, there's usually some good words spoken and there's usually some uh, great advocates who sort of stick their heads up and uh, all in all a fun night and um, uh, uh, surprisingly, uh, you know, a, a pleasant surprise that, that there are new categories kind of sneaking in here and there, you know, for genres and, um, you know, for the Maori Awards and, and everything that, that the, it just gets deeper in, you know. Because the evening celebrates songwriting. Yes. And as we have spoken before, Dave, songwriting is a, to quote you, a tortuous process, isn't it? Well, it can be, yeah, it is. If there's no struggle involved, then it probably wasn't worth it, you know. Um, it depends what kind of music you want to make, really. Uh, for me personally, I love music that sticks around. So you want to make something that lasts a little while, you know, maybe at least a generation. Uh, these days, it's a, lot, it's a lot to aspire to, but um, I think there's a lot of songwriters out there now, especially coming up to young people who are, are really working on stuff that's totally from the heart and soul. Um, you know, they've had a lot of influences and a lot of uh, a kind of mentoring and in terms of what you can hear everywhere and the poet, between the poets and the lyricists and the, and the songwriters, you know, you can gather up the information and train yourself a lot quicker than, than when I was a young fella. It's interesting that you pick up the mentoring aspect of it because, yeah. like you're saying, when you were young, there wasn't the support networks no. that we're seeing tonight. In the foyer tonight, saw the New Zealand Music Foundation, which is yeah. about supporting the mental health of artists. Yeah, well, there's a lot, more, a lot more artists coming out, speaking out about that. What well, was it like for you over the years? I would never have dreamed of something like that back in the days when I was addicted to methamphetamine and uh, running around <laughs> playing rock and roll. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> if there was somewhere you could sort of stick up and get a bit of help somewhere, then uh, maybe I would have taken it. <laughs> but you can win a silver scroll without doing that, Yeah, can't you? you can. You yes. don't have to take the hard road. Believe me, you don't have to take the hard road. <laughs> So, so Dave, what sets apart the Silver Scrolls from other awards or industry events? Um, I think the fact that it's, um, we, you know, it, it's about the making of songs. It's about the structure of songs. It's about what, how they resonate in, in the community and how people have taken them to heart and, and how they've been listened to over and over and people uh, kind of invent their own mythology with songs. Um, as you take them into heart, there's a special place in there uh, for that song, you know. So everyone reacts like that. So it resonates on a communal level. And to me, that that is this is where the the seeds are planted and the songs go out. And then a year later, you see somebody's doing really well in Germany with a song that was uh, originated here, or 
where, you know, USA, you know, UK, whatever. So they're spreading the word, yeah. Well, a couple more questions for okay. you, Dave. I want to know, what is the nerdiest music conversation you've had at Silver Scrolls? Because I have this, I have this <laughs> imagined in my mind that it's this coterie of musicians that are all getting together, talking about sort of chord changes and structures. Or oh, yeah, I think... I do you think, get to really nerd out here with your, amongst your peers? Well, you can, and are usually talking about kind of, uh, you know, uh, things to do without. Uh, that's the latest in the last few years. So I go, uh, turn the machines off, pick up a guitar, and use a pen and paper, you know. And then the next year I'll say, no, plug everything in and make all the machines go bang and all the lights flash on and off and make some music out of that, you know. Um, but I think mostly it's like, how do you strip it down? How do you make it um, essential, you know? Uh, how do you, you do a broad brush stroke and make it say a lot of stuff, you know? Dave, you've said a lot of stuff throughout all your <laughs> all your songs, and I'm sure they are they are the songs that people create memories and you know moments of their lives. Well, so it's our jobs, you know, and so these people are keeping up their end of it by coming every year with new songs and new uh, uh, new gems for the for the community, you know. Thank you so much for opening our night for the RNZ Music live stream. Well, I, I like the live stream. 50, yes, I really you can like go, it. Look, there's a it's camera. It's national too. I love it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Dave. We'll see you out there later. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Thanks, you, Donna. That Thanks, was Alec. that was uh, Dave Dobbin, who's opened our uh, co our program tonight of many, many other musicians that you're going to meet and artists tonight.